Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And today we are beginning a new series of, on the devotions. We're going to be uh, looking at the book of Psalms for the next five weeks. We're going to be sharing with you some of our favorite Psalms and the wisdom that, that is wrapped up in these. Now, if you're not familiar with what the Psalms are, they're a collection of 150 different songs and prayers and meditations that were written really about 3,000 years ago that uh, every single person can relate to at some point. From the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, there is a place you will find yourself in the Psalms. So I hope you enjoy that. And today we're kicking off with Psalm 1, which is my personal favorite psalm. It, it begins, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the path of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree firmly planted by streams of water, yielding its fruit in season. His leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Now, I, I love that psalm because it is a recipe for success, if you will, in life. I mean, all of us want to be more blessed. All of us want to have God show favor on our life. And, and the psalmist just simply says, here's how to do this. Here's your recipe for a successful life. Uh, if you really want to be successful, don't surround yourself with people who are wicked, who are practicing a lifestyle of sin, who are mockers or scoffers of other people. In other words, the psalmist, uh, over 2,000 years before the Apostle Paul said bad company corrupts good morals, told us that bad company will corrupt good morals. If you stand in the path of, of people who are bent on, on sin, they're going to carry you along with them. It's difficult to, to walk against a crowd. If you've ever tried doing that when uh, everybody was exiting Disneyland or a football game, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, when you listen to the counsel of wicked people, you're going to end up doing wicked things because... Uh, that's what they're inviting you to do. Uh, if you sit in the seat of mockers and make fun of other people, that begins to, to poison your heart, and that's what starts coming on in your life. And, and instead, the psalmist says, look, if you want to be blessed, then fill your life with the counsel of God. Uh, the, the, the blessed man is the one who, who takes God's word and meditates on it day and night, that his delight is in the law of the Lord, the wisdom of God. And so, honestly, if you want to be blessed, fill your life with the truth of God. Fill your life with the truth of God. And, and, and that means that you need to meditate on His Word day and night. You can't meditate on His Word day and night unless you actually know His Word. That's why here at Calvary we believe the Bible is the inerrant, inspired Word of God that tells us what to believe and how to live. And that's why we will give Bibles away to anybody who wants one. Because we want you to read the Word of God, because we know if you read God's Word, God will change your life. So we want you to have wisdom. We want you to have blessings. And the way to do that is to think about God's Word, which means reading it, studying it, talking about it, memorizing it, listening to, to songs that lift up Scripture. I, I love it when I hear praise songs, even new ones, because you can pick up the, the verses that they're referencing in the songs, if you know those verses. So surround yourself with the truth of God. Let it penetrate your heart. Let it change your mind. And you will be like a tree that is planted by streams of water who yields its fruit in season and whose leaf doesn't wither. That's an amazing promise. In other words, your life is going to be stable and fruitful and healthy when you focus your life on the wisdom of God. So uh, I hope you will follow along with us as we walk through this teaching in Psalms. Uh, and I hope and pray that you will find your favorite psalm. At, read at least one a day, and maybe more, because they're kind of uh, appealing once you start that path. But remember, be in the Word of God and think about it day and night, and you're going to be blessed. I hope you have a great day. God bless, uh, and we will see you tomorrow.